Hello everybody, this is Falron, and we are back with blocks. There we are. This is our little blocks world over there. We've been working on the, uh, the animal farm lately. And over there we've been working on the on the farm tower, on the wheat tower. Which um, there is a bit of a discussion going on about oh crap. That was good. About how much space wheat needs above it to grow, and it does look as if it doesn't need any space. But I'm still not happy with the design. We're not working on this today. I, I want to figure out something better. Um, as you can see over there, I've built a couple of staircases and stuff, and I've started building a bridge over to the farm. Now, with the little bridges, um, of course, it doesn't matter if they don't have like supports below them. Right there, you know? They just support themselves, but this one is going to need some supports like there and there. And they're going to go all the way down because I don't do half assed things, I, I do it all the way. But the problem that we have here is I am seriously starting to run out of materials. Look at this. There's, there's some stone left here. I'm going to grab that. So I'm going to need that. And maybe the wood as well. Not gonna need this. Well, I might need this actually. What we're gonna do today is I wanna I wanna get some more materials for myself because wait, I need to get rid of did I put the eggs in here? I did. What an idiot. Oh, there's more stone. I'm gonna need that. Let's grab it all. What I wanna do today is um, I wanna go and find a place where I'm gonna start my mob farm. Now, I've been thinking about that. Where to put it. Because the thing is, this place here, obviously is not gonna be mob spawning in there. But I don't want the mob farm to, um, let's say, to take up too much space. You know, it shouldn't be too ugly. If I if I can manage that. So I was thinking of building it in the water right there. But um, then again, I would like to maybe have it high enough so it works. You know, differently. I'm really, really, really thinking hard about what to do here. I know that I've been, while caving, I have been lighting up the area below there pretty well. This can't be the mob farm because this is where my my guys live. Let's go visit them. See, there they are. Hey, buddies. I was trying to get them to move over to some other doors as well, but apparently... Or maybe it works. Yeah, look at that. They're starting to run around. Cool. Um, this here would be a possibility, I guess. I'm just sorry for going quite like that. I'm just thinking this might actually be a stupid idea because what it is, I can't. I need them to to be able to spawn without interruption, which basically means I have to put them up in the air. Because if I don't put them up in the air, um, I'm just gonna stop the spawning every now and then when I when I pass by. But I really do want them to spawn. So. Could put them over there, but that puts them close to the outside area. I think I need to have them in a central place. Maybe this tower needs to get extended. 
I'd say this is the drop space where they like drop their stuff. All right, right here. That would actually be a good idea. Put it here. And let's, oh crap. Should have taken some dirt with me. By the way, I found out the other day, it's still pretty dangerous to be ender pearling around here because if you miss something, you might well end up very deep underwater and you better have some torches handy for breathing or you'll be in trouble or that that can happen too uh, that is not perfect either so yeah all right let's go up there Gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna do this. All right, let's see. Twenty-four. One. Let's let's take this as one, two, three. Twenty-four. That means forty. All right. Oh, this is high. <laughs> Look at that. It's amazing. I love it. Um. Yeah, I think this position is best because there's lit up space over there, there's lit up space over there, it's pretty far up. We're standing on 144, so I would have enough space to build up, obviously. Question is, how stupid does it look? Probably very stupid. But let's uh let's let's start building a little something here. I can't always turn this into like another tower or something. I'm gonna have to figure something out for that. But um let's make a bit of a platform. Let's turn this back off. There we go. So Basically, I'm going to put down the first floor of this, and I'll be back when that is done. I'll be right back.
as you can see I'm making my way down to uh, the ground since um, I'm already running out of materials this looks looks okay I guess I'm gonna have to build a new like tower to get up there because that single tower that I have to tear down and build back up every time is not gonna work um, yeah I've been running out of materials already let's see how bad this looks I actually don't mind it too much whoa that was a bad bad shot should have built it straight over the tower I'm gonna have to build some kind of support for that but I'll see what I do with it we'll see I'm not gonna move it I'm okay with it being where it is obviously the uh, the place I'm building is the one that Etho designed the uh, practical mob spawner I think he calls it I put the link in the description if I remember it if I don't please let me know um, no I don't want to build it from that and I think I'm almost out of everything which is kinda of bad I do have coal well that's something I guess uh, let's uh, let's build a quick coal tower here and while I do that I can talk about a couple of other things that you guys might find more or less interesting we'll see so let's go through uh, a quick channel update here because uh, if you've been following my channel closely lately you might have noticed that some things have gone into the background a bit and some other things have taken over quite a lot um, one of the things that I haven't been putting out too much of lately is uh, blocks and FTB the main reason for that guys is I'm just um, pretty busy with school and work and that, I don't want to I don't want to give this as a excuse for not being on FTB but more of an explanation um, uh, for FTB and, and blocks for the absence of those the thing is Minecraft and Feed the Beast are extremely time-consuming if you want to present something interesting to people and as you know I've always tried to finish some builds and then show them off to you maybe show you how I finished them but uh, the problem with that is that takes a lot of time off camera and something like Dishonored for example or um, Far Cry 3 that doesn't take too much time to prepare because basically the story is written for you and you can just as a commentator can just react to what's going on on the screen now that's probably the reason why I've been putting out more of that stuff because that's just easier to record and edit um, I want however I, I don't it's not like I'm getting bored of Minecraft or anything quite the opposite I've actually had hadn't haven't had this much fun with uh, Minecraft in a long long time especially with FTB as well um, to me it's just important that you guys understand why these episodes are a bit further uh, further away from each other but as I said in the last episode you can expect more uploads from this but and there is a uh, there is a restriction to that I guess um, I am probably gonna be showing you more building more me doing things and more talking over it because I actually kinda like to share some some thoughts and ideas with you guys so that's fun too and um, obviously let's put these in here 
There we go. Nah, that doesn't... That's okay. I'm okay with it. It's gonna look actually quite imposing once it's flying up there. Um, so I'm gonna go back to the desert outpost first and then the uh, crater city itself to see if I can get some materials there. I should probably leave this stuff here. That's not strictly needed. Alright, Desert Outpost first. So, um, yeah, that's that's the reason, basically, why there has been a little more of the other stuff. Plus, the second reason is, um, I've always said I want this channel to represent all the things that I like to play, and I have phases in which I do not play a lot of Minecraft at all. That doesn't mean I don't like Minecraft anymore, but... It's just, you know, just the way it is. Let's see what we got here. Sandstone. Oh, but I could, I could grab some of the sandstone and transport it over to uh, Crater City. It's in here. Yeah, let's grab this. Move it over to the Capitol building. While I'm at it, you guys are gonna see a episode of me transporting stuff around. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Um, yeah, so basically, blocks, of course, getting back to the channel update, blocks is going to continue, and uh, even though Crater City has been a bit uh, slow lately, let's call it that, we are still on here, and uh, even though many of us have found other projects to work on, we are meeting up here every now and then, and that is fun. And this is... Crater City is basically my home in Minecraft, so... Uh, I don't know if you guys heard, but Vexy has announced that she will retire from YouTube, from making YouTube videos. And that, to me, is um, very sad. I understand her reasoning and everything, but I am going to miss her videos, so... It is what it is. At least we still have her here on Crater City, and she, Crater City, and she'll probably be featuring in our videos every now and then. So all good there. And uh, what else? Oh, Feed the Beast. Feed the Beast uh, is going to continue. I am currently. I have started construction on the Combine Tower, and I know another tower. <laughs> it's just. It's just what I like to build. Sorry. Uh, this is gonna this is gonna be like the headquarters for the combine conglomerate, and the conglomerate is gonna expand into markets unknown. Basically, I am always continuing my quests of my quest of understanding new mods in the pack because um, I've said it before, mods are kind of scary to me. Even the uh, the updates that I have to do for um, for our mod pack that we're using sometimes blows my mind. <laughs> and uh, so, Feed the Beast is definitely coming back because I love the people on the server too. Some of them are Criterions, of course. And uh, we'll be working on that. Then, we have the challenge. You might have seen on a in the comment section of one of my latest videos, CQ and I have been discussing about doing Kaizo Caverns. Mr. Chicken! On the rails! How to strike one, Mr. Chicken. See ya. Uh, we've been dus discussing doing Kaizo Caverns because that's the plan, basically. CQ and I doing Kaizo Caverns together. I am kind of waiting for Inferno Mines, I think is the name. The newest Vex map that I'll probably be playing on my own. So I'm looking forward to that too. And uh, I've also seen a couple of other maps that I've, I've been thinking about doing. I've actually started back at the uh, the outpost, New Bloxton. I've started building the underground thing that I, I that I built on um, in the blocks world for oh, what are you doing in here get away go away what are you doing in here 
Battle axe. Hi. Is there anyone else? No, don't think so. Alright, let's go over to the capital. Um, so yeah, the challenge is definitely going to come back. Um, I'm looking forward to doing that as well because that is kind of the Minecraft version of um, of pre-written script. <laughs> and as I said, there's some other maps that have been looking interesting to me and that I'm actually considering, uh, the, you know, like putting in. And I've started rebuilding the underground place with the. Uh, challenge rooms so to speak where's where's that stuff go this here where's this go goes right over here there we go all right I can't remember a thing is there any stone in here there wasn't all right so um yeah, that's the challenge, and then we have, oh yeah, the th those are the three Minecraft series, so to speak, and then we have the three non-Minecraft series, uh, number one being Dishonored, now I know Dishonored doesn't get as many views as the others, but I gotta say, oh, chicken, yes, I gotta say, um, I had a lot of fun with Dishonored because I've, I've finished it by now. I've, I've played it to the end. And how the hell did you get up there? Come down here. Oh well. You stay there. It's alright. Christmas tree is still up. Should probably tear that down, but we're not going to do that today. So Dishonored is. Uh, oh, I put these up here. Dang it. <laughs> Christmas decoration. <laughs> Sterling Tower. Um, Dishonored I'm going to keep uploading uh, because it's already all finished. Yes, jackpot. And uh, rendered out, so there's not much left to do on that except uploading. Actually, it's even uploaded yet. I just have to publish it every now and then. And uh, then we have Far Cry 3, the co-op. I know you guys like that a lot, and thanks for all the comments and uh, the messages even that I got about it. And I appreciate those a lot, as always. Let's see if we have some stone in here. And um, oh yeah, I'm gonna grab some stone in the community center. Yes, no more stone in the community center, sorry. Oh. Perfect. Works just fine. No, those I'll leave. Um, so the Far Cry 3 co-op, you haven't seen that part yet. But let's just say things got a little frustrating towards the end. You'll see. And uh, I'll have to talk to the guys whether we're continuing this or not because... Personally, all I can say for myself is I was pretty pissed at the end of the last session. Not at the guys, but at the game. But we'll see. We'll see how, how that continues and with whom. And uh, finally, last but not, but not least, uh, COD, Call of Duty, Black Ops 2. I'm definitely going to continue that. I am having so much fun playing Call of Duty right now. I've actually done something that I ugh, that I thought I would never do and bought the damn season pass the other day. Oh, that reminds me I need to download Revolution. Wait, what do you mean one more month of waiting? Xbox exclusive? Ah! And um, bought the season pass. I don't know what got into me, but I'm liking the game, and you guys will see more like highlight reels and uh, montages and other footage because uh, that is definitely fun. 
So that is basically it. So we, what you did was you watched me build the start of my mob spawner in this episode. And we'll almost hit you. And then you saw me drive to the capital building and back. Isn't that great? Just to get cobble. And uh, yeah, I'm, I guess I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to continue work on the mob spawner, of course. Try and get it into more or less working shape. And I will not start using it before you guys are there. You will see the first mobs drop out of the drop out of it and uh, we'll do that in the next episode probably so I will see you guys then have a good evening bye bye